good day, Table Rush Talk Show listeners. I am so glad to have you on and listening and watching today. I just wanted to start with that. Um, but anyway, this episode is all about how to borrow somebody's authority. How to borrow somebody's authority. I had a major breakthrough, epiphany moment, aha moment. I finally sort of saw how to borrow somebody's authority and the power of it. So listen in and learn. You know when someone is selling from stage and at the end the audience gets up and rushes to the back of the room to buy? That's a table rush. My name is Misha Z and the Table Rush Talk Show is all about bringing you the tools, strategies, and tactics that you can use to grow your audience and inspire them to buy. All right, as everybody knows by now, or perhaps you don't because you're new to the show. Welcome, new to the show, people. Um, somebody just walked by. Uh, if you've listened to any of my, my previous episodes, I just think it's so funny. I am the crazy person. You realize as we walk and talk and record into these boxes, it's a fine line between the homeless and us. I'm just saying, homeless people are walking around rambling. They're rambling away. Who are they talking to? They probably have an audience. We just can't see it. Anyhow, I've been diligently publishing every day for a year, actually more than a year now, and it took me about a year and one month to have some major breakthroughs, epiphanies. Well, about the power of doing that, which maybe I'll get to in this episode, maybe I won't, just know that publishing every day for a year to your chosen platform and what I would consider a publishable, publishable platform because it's indexable, it's SEO searchable, it has longevity as a base of content that you own. I would consider that um, YouTube channel because you're creating the video searchable obviously YouTube highly searchable highly searchable indexable somebody searches something there's a great chance your documentation your story your whatever comes up well it can you know what I mean there's not a great chance <laughs> there is a chance um, or podcasts podcasts podcasting is super searchable indexable somebody could go to google.com and search the subject that you talk about and then all of a sudden your podcast comes up because you've got show notes because you've got you know the terms at the right places and it can be super messy trust me my podcast is coming up in certain places now cuz because it's out there and findable and then lastly um, blogging uh, blogging and it's, it's definitely come into my awareness how powerful blogging is you know the written story what I don't consider publishing although a ton of people would argue would be posting on Facebook would be posting on Instagram would be posting on TikTok, Snapchat, any of that stuff. This is what I would tell you. Those are distribution channels. How about think of it that way? It's just a distribution channel. Facebook could go out of style today, overnight. There's Facebook slaps, Google slaps, there's all these terms. And if that's your main source, that's no good. However, if you control the content, if you control the creation in blog, podcast, YouTube channel, you can slice and dice, repurpose all that content out to the social media channels. So those are distribution channels. 
and there's going to be new distribution channels. There's Clubhouse, there's all these things out there. I'm an old guy, so, well, old-ish. There's people older than me, but as I'm in my 50s, um, <laughs> perhaps I'm not as aware of the new apps as they come into fruition. Uh, what's another distribution channel? Um, LinkedIn, Twitter. So create your content on your blog, your YouTube channel. And again, YouTube channel could go away, but if you're in the, you, you own, you have all that video searchable stuff, right? Because you're in effect creating it and then pushing it out on YouTube. You get what I'm saying? People are going to disagree. A ton of people are having success just TikToking, are building businesses straight from TikTok. God bless them. Go do that if that's calling to you. Now, <laughs> thank you for listening to that rant. The power of authority. So, um, I've interviewed a bunch of people. I recently had interviewed somebody, a memory specialist, Lisa Randall. She's a genius. Uh, check it out. You can hear it. You can watch the Lisa Randall interview on the YouTube channel, or you can listen to it on the Table Rush talk show, which also uh, goes out as a podcast. Just Google, Google Table Rush talk show on any of the, or search Table Rush talk show on any of the major podcasting platforms, and it'll come up. Um, but again, the power of borrowing somebody's authority. So Lisa Randall, super smart memory specialist, she literally helps people thrive in old age with her memory courses. Like, she helps them have better memories in old age than they did before they hit old age. She proves through science, science proves that the illusion of your memory having to go of Alzheimer's, of all these things, perhaps is just that an illusion. If you work on it. Um, not to say that whatever those are rabbit holes, I don't need to go down. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Lisa's super smart. I interviewed her, had a lot of fun, had to switch hands on the water bottle. Um, and, uh, I sliced and diced that content. I sliced and diced that into a bunch of 15, 30 second, one minute clips. Probably about 10 of them, 15 of them. I'm currently in this repurpose content mode. And uh, so I push it all out across, I, distribu I push it all out across the distribution channels, across YouTube shorts, across reels, across you know, you know Instagram and Facebook reels across TikTok just those created a ton of engagement it was super awesome and I posted engaging clips of her being really smart and explaining how it all works the hypocalamus all these things go listen to the interview you'll figure out what the hypocalamus is um but uh, I started getting, I started getting direct messages asking me about memory stuff, right? They're like, oh my gosh, you're so smart about all this stuff. Oh my gosh, you know, this is the course that I like. Oh my gosh, you should read this book. Oh my gosh, tell me more. Misha, tell me more. How'd you get involved in all this memory stuff? I interviewed somebody. Slice and dice the interview, chopped it up, send it out. It's very powerful. All of a sudden, I'm perceived as an expert in the memory space. And all I did was interview somebody, ask some engaging questions, smile. I'm very, um, I react a lot. Like, I, I'm very emotive. <laughs> so I have that going for me. Or not, if you like unemotive people, then you will be irritated by the way I uh, respond to people. But no matter, um, 
I got to borrow Lisa's authority. I'm very excited to interview because I'm all into sales and marketing. Like that's my main thing that I'm talking about and diving into right now. I love spirituality, love a course in miracles, I love prayer, meditation. You know, I'm all into the twelve step recovery programs, just been sober a super long time. Um, lots of stuff I'm into. But I'm excited to I've I've interviewed some really smart sales and marketing people and I can't wait to slice and dice that content, push it out, and be per, and be and I am an authority. <laughs> I've sold a lot of stuff, done a lot of marketing, but uh, in the new, in the digital area. Anyway, you get what I'm saying. I'm very excited to create that engagement to increase my authority by interviewing other people and then repurposing that content and distributing it out across the channels. All right, I'm done. That be, might be my most concise episode in, um, <laughs> in 8 or 10. <laughs> Thank you for joining me on the journey. Love to all. Subscribe. Subscribe in the bottom corner. I think it is right over there. If you're listening on, on a podcast platform, subscribe. Rate. Give me a five star. If you're watching this on YouTube, is it subscribe or follow? I don't know. I'm still sorting all that out. Love to all. Thank you, thank you for listening to this episode of the Table Rush Talk Show. For resources to help you sell your stuff, go to b e l o v e dot media forward slash resources. That's b love dot media forward slash resources. And be sure to subscribe, comment, five star, and share. Thank you again for listening.